El Pasoans may be unaware that we have dinosaur footprints right in our backyard. ABC 7's Jason McNabb was in Solon Park where research to find more was conducted, and he reports from our New Mexico mobile newsroom. To the untrained eye, these rocks may just look like rocks, but they're actually dinosaur tracks. And now land surveyors are using new technology to find even more. Researchers and surveyors, along with Insight Science and Discovery, gathered at the base of Mount Carissa Ray Wednesday morning for a long, hot day of mapping the lands, looking for new sites that may be invisible to the naked eye. Equipment and technology relatively new to the field, including survey drones, are letting paleontologists explore where they've never been able to. We're coming in and we're pulling in, on average, 10 to 20 million points, literally in the blink of an eye. The goal of the research, to find more dinosaur tracks here, and potentially bones. Here you have a hill, and then you have toes, 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 and then if you look, if I was to push right there, there's another track. These tracks here at the base of Mount Carissa Ray are over 100 million years old, belonging to the Iguanodon, the Achillosaurus, and even ancient crocodiles. Dr. Eric Kappis, one of the only paleontologists here in the El Paso region, discovered the tracks over 20 years ago. And he says the new technology will uncover even more. With the images that we make from collecting this data, I, I'm able to see 20 or 30 times as many tracks as I could. Wednesday's research is unique in that insight, science, and discovery allowed El Paso area high school students to come and see the surveying firsthand. We invited the community just because we want to showcase what we're doing at Insights um, and all the education potential that we have out here. The students agree. It's pretty fun, to be honest. I mean, I'm having a blast right now. Over there, we got to we got to see fossils and uh, like all different types and uh, like small versions, big versions. Like we 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 got to. Also, that's like this big. Well, we may have just gotten a look at two future paleontologists. In Sunland Park with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, Jason McNabb, ABC7.